chapter two, lesson two, is addition with regrouping in the ones and tens. So here, clearly, regrouping means we need to carry. So this is where the pairings that I mentioned in the last lesson is very important. So I'll write them down again. One and nine, two and eight, three and seven, four and six, five and five. So the thinking when it's computational math, we got to do vertical written. And if it's mental math, it's horizontal. We're not dealing with mental math yet, but we will. Okay, so um, we will start with page 39. On page 39, The two problems I selected are page 39, problem number two, there's a B and a C. And the question says, find the sum of these two numbers. So since we want the sum, we add the two. We write down again the bigger number on top. So 5047 plus 815. Now, since there's regrouping, that means we need to group to form the tens so that it's easier for the brain cells. So the strategy is we start with a seven, which is the bigger one compared to the five. We need three to get to 10. So that means we have an extra two from the five, which means that will be 12. We carry or we regroup. Therefore, here we have four plus one is five plus one is six. Start with a bigger digit, which is eight plus zero, eight and five. So the sum of 815 and 5047 is 5862. Moving to problem C, it says find the sum as well of 2936 and 7059. So here we start with 7059 and add the 2936. For consistency sake, we start with a 9, and we know that we need 1 to get it to 10. So we have an extra 5, which makes this 15. So we start with a bigger digit again, which is the 5, add the 3, makes it 8, plus 1 makes it 9. Start with a bigger digit, 9 plus 0 is 9, and finally 7 plus 2 is also 9. So again, parents, it's important that we teach our kids the pairings. It's important that we teach our kids to start with a bigger digit first and add the smaller digit so that it's easier for the brain cells. That concludes lesson two of chapter two. See you in the next lesson.